We are also continuing to get new video tonight from inside last weekend's deadly Halloween party shooting. It is disturbing. This video posted on Instagram shows the moment shots were fired inside a Sacramento County business. Seven people were shot and two people did not survive. And that party considered a mass shooting. And tonight, family and friends of one of the victims are calling for the violence to stop. ABC 10's Giacomo Luca is joining us live with the latest. Well, Madison and Chris, the shooting happened behind us inside the uh, banquet hall here. You can see a visual that has uh, been, you know, come up with the candles and other things uh, celebrating the life of Terrence Long, who his mother believes he was killed by a stray bullet inside the Royal Castle Banquet Hall, where hundreds were celebrating Halloween when that mass shooting broke out. <laughs> Intense video posted to Instagram shows the moment shots rang out, sending hundreds fleeing, striking at least seven, including Pamela Welch's son. I don't know who you are, but I'm not mad at you. At a time when so many would seek vengeance, she's offering forgiveness to whoever took the life of her 32-year-old son, Terrence Long. I forgive you. I do. And I'm praying that they would get themselves together and be able to, you know, turn it around. This is tragic, very tragic. He was the only guy I knew that made street sweeping look cool. His friends called him T Smooth. He worked as a heavy equipment operator and loved motorcycles. Long was in tune with Sacramento's biker community, who met weekly in this Arden parking lot where dozens are remembering him tonight. Even if you got a problem with somebody, they have something to bring to this world that nobody else can bring. And making a dramatic call to end the violence. Put the knives and the guns down. We don't need them. I want to see a day and time where we can come out together like this and nobody get hurt. You know, the gun violence is just it's out of control. What an emotional plea from that mother. Still many questions remain tonight about what led up to the shooting, but few details, a uh, few new details have been released. Meanwhile, if you have any information that could help investigators, you're urged to contact the Sacramento County Sheriff's Office. Your heart just breaks for that mother tonight. Our thoughts are with that family. Giacomo, thank you.